Walk on. Lieutenant Colonel Greg Ganson played college football for West Point. As a battalion commander in Iraq, he was in charge of hundreds of men. After leaving a memorial service for two of his soldiers, Gadsden faced the same fate. On uh, 7 May of uh, 2007, I had a roadside bomb or an IED exploded and, and it, it hit my vehicle. Um, it, uh, it knocked me from my vehicle and, and um, I lost consciousness. But uh, the, the great soldiers of my battalion, uh, they, they literally rescued me. Uh, in about 45 minutes, I was, uh, I was at the Baghdad hospital. Went through over 70 pints of blood. Ganson lost both of his legs in the explosion. And amazingly, just months later, he began therapeutic riding as part of his rehab. We're gonna stretch forward, see if you can touch your horse's ears. After several surgeries, Lieutenant Ganson was fitted with prosthetic legs. Well, it's a double bilateral or, or above the knee amputee. We have to use our core to help balance us. Having a strong core is, is really important to walk in. Get back up. It's going to work those abdominal muscles. Yeah. It's not, it's not the therapeutic riding program is basically a brainchild of uh, Mary Jo Beckman. She wanted to give back to uh, the soldiers that were you know, coming back from Iraq that were hurt and injured. It helps if you go straight. Well, there's several goals. First of all, feeling a freedom of sitting on a horse's back, and there's a confidence builder, self-esteem. Sit up, sit back. Well, my confidence on the horse is much better. You got to concentrate on your your balance. I've physically gotten stronger, and my balance is a lot better. I couldn't do this two months ago. The smiles on their faces. These are hard. Yeah, it is. First thing you do is you stiffen them right up. And the idea that they have not spent a day in the clinic, it's fabulous. Good, good. I guess I'm an optimist. I, I mean, you got two ways to go when something like this happens. It just really goes about whether you're going to participate in it or you're not going to participate in it. Landing. Every day is not a bed of roses, but, but tell me what life is.